You are worth it. Don't let anyone tell you that you are not, my dears. You are worth it. If you love yourself, that means that you love life. If you love life, that means that you love yourself. Self-love is so important. People who hate other people, usually they hate themselves. Hurt people have hurt people. We may have heard that before, before, that people who are usually in pain or in misery, people who are constantly complaining, it's usually a projection of how they feel about themselves. So your inner world is what you will see in the outer world. Self-love is all about how much you think you are worth. It's all about what you think you deserve. And quite frankly, in this world, you are going to get what you think you deserve. Why do some of us struggle with self-love? It can be for many reasons. Some of us, it can be because of the experiences that we've had as a child. Maybe we've had a traumatic experience in the past. Maybe we've had parents who told us that we are not good enough, that constantly kept criticizing us, constantly kept putting us down, or maybe we were in environments such as school where adults told us that we are not good at certain things. As a child, we carry this through, we can carry this through into adulthood if we don't deal with it, if we don't overcome those traumatic experiences. For some of us, it may be because we've made mistakes in the past. All of us have made mistakes. Many of us regret so many things that we've done. We wish we didn't date that person. We wish we didn't take that job. You know, we all have regrets and mistakes. But it's when we, we continuously identify ourselves with these past mistakes and we don't heal from them. And of course, another reason is because when we compare ourselves to others, this can make us doubt ourselves. If we see others doing well, if we see someone else, for example, she's so pretty and I'm not, this can make us feel like we are not good enough. This can make us feel like we don't deserve the best or we, we, sh we shouldn't go after what we want. And it's time that you overcome these limiting beliefs because they are holding you back. It's so important, my lovelies, my dears, that you work on self-love because at the core at the core of everything is how you feel about yourself that's where it all begins so the number one thing i really recommend you to do is to understand that happiness true happiness it comes from you and to stop seeking happiness from the external world so often we rely on the external world and things to make us happy. We've been told from a young age that we should look for a partner to get married. We should buy that house. We should get that job that pays high, that pays a high amount. Those are the things that, gonna, that are gonna make us happy. But really, truly, these things are fleeting. A relationship may not always work out. That house, maybe we might have to move somewhere different. We might have to sell it. That job, there's no guarantee that that's going to be forever. And that's the reason why relying on external things for happiness is very risky. It's very risky. And it means that you're always dependent on external things to make you happy. And these things are always up and down, up and down. And that's what's gonna determine your happiness. If you're always looking for happiness in a partner, what if, if they have a bad day? You're depending, you're depending your happiness on someone else, but more often than not, us humans, we are, there's, no, there's no guarantee that we will be feeling the same way every day. We're very unpredictable creatures. So someone is someone relying on someone else for your happiness is very risky. What if they are having a bad week? So their happiness, the way they treat you, your happiness is dependent on the way they treat you. And that's why it's so important that you, my lovely dears, understand that happiness, make, being able to make yourself happy is your own responsibility and you can. 
believing that you can to make yourself happy when you learn and understand that you don't need all these external things to make you happy that you can be happy on your own then you become free from all these external things you it's a freeing feeling it means even if that relationship breaks up you're not going to you're not go, your world is not going to end you will still be strong enough to continue on your journey because you are you've learned how to be happy on your own even if you get laid off from a job it's not going to crush you to the point where you cannot face the world anymore because you know that these things are not the cause of your happiness you know how to make yourself happy when you understand that you are in control of your own happiness that you have the power of your own life and that you are the creator of your own life it will make you unstoppable it changes everything and making yourself happy is linked to self love because when you love yourself when you treat yourself well then you learn how to make yourself happy and then you will you will stop relying on external things to make you happy and you will master your emotions so whatever is happening out there you will be less affected because you know how to make yourself happy therefore you're not going to depend on a relationship you're not going to depend on that job promotion you're not going to depend on buying that house to be happy because you are happy on your own with who you are the person who you are and you know that you don't need all of these things they can be bonus to your happiness. So I really encourage you to think about you discovering yourself and how you can make yourself happy. What are the things that make you happy and think about those things and spend time doing the things that make you happy and understanding that happiness is really your own responsibility. The minute you take away the happiness your happiness from the external things you are gaining control of your life of of your happiness and nothing else can feel better than that and people love to be hang around with people who are happy who likes to be around miserable people not many people that i know you know we try and stay away from those miserable people who are always complaining but we gravitate towards people who are happy to be around who are who seem to inspire inspire us no matter what is going on they seem so peace they seem so at peace and collected we love those kind of people who seem unbothered who are happy and at peace with themselves and that's what i think we should aspire to be at someone who is just happy you know happy to be alive happy to be breathing you know so understand and realize that happiness is your own responsibility and the sooner you stop relying on external things to make you happy the sooner you will let yourself be free and be less affected by these external things like relationship breakups and things not working not working out at jobs and the list is endless with all the uncertainties uncertainties that we get in this world number 2 is in order to practice self love I think so often a lot of us can hold on to our past the things that have hurt us the people that have hurt us so number 2 is learning to forgive the past learning to forgive your to forgive yourself learning to forgive the past and to let go when we are holding on to the things that have happened to us in the past it's like carrying this heavy baggage and not being able to move on and that's why forgiving the people that have hurt you in the past it's not about these people it really is not the person who it affects the most when you are holding on to resentment and when you are holding on to anger is you not the people that have hurt you when you are holding on to grudges whatever it is you are holding on to the energy this energy that is going to drag you down so learn to forgive and let 
go. I know it's not always easy, but if you can understand that it's weighing you down, you don't need this toxic energy. Think of it this way. When you have a smelly, rubbish bin items sitting at the bottom of your bin and you don't throw it away for a very long time, it's just going, the smell is going to turn into something beyond imaginable to tolerate. It's a bit like that. If you don't chuck that bin away, it's just going to fester into something bigger and bigger within us. And that's why it's so important that you learn to let go of the things that have hurt you, that bag- the baggage, the hurt. It doesn't mean you have to forget what has happened, but it means you are just letting this toxic energy out of your body, letting it go so you can let new things into your life. When it, when, in order to heal, a big part of that is to let go so that you are keeping yourself in a high vibrational frequency and that's when you can attract better things into your life. When you are holding on to anger, when you're holding on to resentment, this is the energy that's going to keep you in fear. This is the energy that's going to keep you in resentment that these things may happen again. That's what we that's why we hold on to these things, the hurt, the past, because we fear that they may happen again. But What you think is what you will create, the self-fulfilling prophecy. That's why it's so important that you learn to let go of the things that are hurting you so you can set yourself free. Set yourself free. If not anyone, it's about you. Number three, how do you practice self-love? How can you start falling in love with yourself? Number three is to listen to that inner critic in your head, we all have it, that voice in our head that says, you are not good enough, you are not pretty enough, you are not intelligent enough. That voice, be like an observer and stop listening to this voice. We all have it, but it takes practice to stop giving it so much attention. They say that the number one reason for depression is because of what people say about themselves to themselves when you're continuously telling yourself negative thoughts about yourself this is the reason why most people go into the negative spiral of becoming depressed anxiety anxious all of these things so that's why it's so important that you challenge that inner critic in your voice in your head and you nip it in the bud every time you hear it sometimes it's there to Uh, protect you from danger that's why we have that voice but most of the time it's to discourage you it's not true what it's telling you uh, what you shouldn't believe it when it's telling you that you are not pretty enough and that you shouldn't wear that dress tell it to shut up okay (laughs) just learn to be an observer don't give this thought that much attention change the way you think about yourself one thing that really helps is to look into the mirror, look into yourself and start repeating affirmations to yourself. Look into the mirror, look at yourself and start saying, I love you. You are good enough. You are beautiful. No one else needs to think that, but you, the most important person that needs to believe that about yourself is you. If you believe that about yourself, the whole world will believe it. So it all comes down to you. Having spent some time alone myself over the past few years, I haven't been able to always rely on my friends or family members as I used to for, to, for support about topics and things that are bothering me so I had to learn how to become my own best friend and that has really helped me the way I talk to myself see talk to yourself the way you would talk to a best friend see yourself as your own best friend I think this is one of the things that can really help the way you look at yourself some of the things that we say to ourselves we would never dare to say to someone else so why are you going to say it to yourself it doesn't make sense That means you're treating yourself like a piece of shit. (laughs) You know what I mean, right? So if you're not going to say it to someone else, don't say it to yourself. 
That's the way you have to see it. Become your own best friend. Start trusting yourself. Start believing that you can. Whatever you set your mind to, you can do it. Stop being so harsh on yourself. We've all made mistakes in the past. We've all done things that we regret. Nobody is perfect. Believe that you are unique and you are beautiful and whatever you set your mind to, you are going to achieve, that you can overcome the struggles and the challenges that you are going through right now. Trust yourself. Become your own best friend. Number four, in order to start practicing some more self-love, in order to fall in love with yourself is to fall in love with your life fall in love with you. So often we are looking at other people and expect them to love us or we want them to love us. We go into relationships and we say, please love me, please love me. Am I worthy? Am I good enough? We're always seeking external validation, the male attention and so forth. When you learn to fall in love with yourself, you don't need that. You won't need that. And that is freaking attractive ironically when you stop needing it that's when you get it start loving yourself what does this mean this means fully accepting yourself your imperfections remember that nobody is perfect nobody is perfect accepting your flaws accepting what's unique about you roll with it accepting your quirkiness make that shine people love people who are confident Become confident in who you are. I really encourage you to work on your confidence. Confidence and self-love, they kind of go hand in hand. When you love yourself, you become more confident with who you are. You accept yourself fully. So you won't need to constantly be seeking love from other people. You won't settle in relationships just because you feel like you need love. You won't be desperate for relationships because you're going to be so busy with your own life you'll be in love with your life. You know, at the moment, I'm so busy with so many things. And although I have, guys, this is not in a boastful way. I'm just trying to give you an example. I have guys who are, who pursue me. I have guys who have asked me out on a date and still do. Until someone comes along where I feel like I'm not settling, I feel like my time is so precious. I am doing so many different things. I'm always working on myself. I am in love with my life. And I am continuously self-discovering who I am. I'm so busy discovering who I am that until it's someone who is amazing, I'm not ready to compromise my time. I'm not ready to compromise my life to someone unless they are also amazing. And that's the way you should think. That's the way you should be. You become so confident in who you are and what you have to offer find things that you enjoy, fall in love with your passions and your projects. When you find things that you enjoy and delve into your skills and your talent, this is what makes people confident. So tap into those things. What are your passions? What are your hobbies? This is the time to do it. Self-love is all about you discovering who you are, accepting who you are, being yourself unapologetically, not having to explain yourself to anyone. And that is really, really sexy. When you get to that point, that's when you become a magnet towards people. People want a piece of you. They want to know what's going on. How did you get to this stage? You are so amazing. And that's what self-love is about. It's not about changing yourself. It's about you accepting yourself and not having to change yourself for people. And ironically, that's what people love. People love people who can just be themselves and not feel the need to change themselves because often so many of us, we do change ourselves to fit in with society. So understand that you can be yourself. You don't have to change yourself to be anyone else. Number five is think about how you are treating yourself. The way you treat yourself is a reflection of how much self-love you have. People who don't believe that they are worth good things in life, they usually are not going to treat themselves well. This could be from continuously eating 
junk food, not treating their bodies well, never doing exercise. They don't see themselves as someone who's worth doing these good things for their body. People who treat themselves well are going to make the effort, take care of themselves and do the things that they need to, which is going to, in, in effect, show the world that they are worth it, that the way you treat yourself is how the outer world is going to treat you. I have a friend who, although he has money, he doesn't seem to ever want to spend money on himself to buy new clothes. He's always wearing worn out clothes. I mean, that's his choice. I get it. But I think it comes down to because he doesn't think he's worth spending money on himself to wear decent clothes. So it all comes down to what you think you are worth. What are you doing? What? How are you spending your that how are you spending time with yourself? Are you treating yourself? Maybe it means treating yourself to nutritious food. This means you are taking care of yourself. Maybe it means treating yourself to the odd spa now and then. When you treat yourself well, that's when the world will treat you well. Taking care of yourself, exercising, that is a reflection. That is showing the world that I love myself. I love my body. I'm taking care of myself. And in effect, that's how everybody will also show up for you because they can see that you love yourself. Therefore, they have to treat you in a certain way because you love yourself. And number six, self-love is all about setting boundaries. This is so important, my dears, my lovelies. Self-love is all about not putting up with any crap from anyone. When people start mistreating you, taking advantage of you, when they think they can use you in relationships, self-love is all about putting healthy boundaries to toxic people, to saying no to the things that you don't want to do for people who take advantage of you. It's so important to set boundaries because, again, people will treat you the way you treat yourself. If they can see that you are a people pleaser, you are a yes person, unfortunately, in this world, people will take advantage of you and they will think that they can walk all over you. So you need to nip that in the bud. You need to put boundaries in place so that people are not taking advantage of you. You need to say no to things that you don't want to do. And in relationships, don't settle. Don't let people take advantage of you. Make sure that you have healthy brand boundaries in place to protect yourself. Self-love is all about you valuing yourself. It's about you valuing your time and not letting other people take advantage of you in any way. When you prioritize yourself, that is self-love. I hope you found these tips useful. Let me know if you'd, love, if you'd like to add anything. I'll love to hear from you. I hope you're all doing really well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.